What's up everybody? It's your boy Wakamandu. Welcome back to Wrench Wrench Garage and we have a clean shop finally. So uh, we're gonna go on to the next thing and uh, in the week of uh, of uh, what's going on nowadays with the uh, with the coronavirus and all these things going on. Um, I hope everybody is, uh, is staying safe and uh, I hope everybody is doing what they have to do to keep themselves free of this virus. And uh, you guys just, just stay safe and do what you're supposed to do and wash your hands and all that other good stuff. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to keep the uh, entertainment train rolling for you guys the best I can. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. Uh, I don't have the coronavirus, but I, I do have another virus. I have a sickness. I have an illness. An illness that uh, that in the car world we call, uh, I, got a, I got car owner virus. Yes, yes, I have car owner virus. And basically what uh, the symptoms are just um, are buying stuff that you're not supposed to buy that has four wheels and an engine that you really think that you can get running and looking pretty. But in, but actually you you really don't have any idea. You just freaking go for it. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to reveal my new, supposed to be a flip, but you know, another symptom of the car owner, car, car owner virus is that, um, you know, you, you, you modify stuff a little bit too much. So I don't know how this is going to go, but um, here's another one. I know I still have Pedro to deal with. Pedro's not going anywhere. I'm still working on Pedro. Videos are coming for Pedro. I just wanted to show you this because this is supposed to be a flip to kind of help with that, but we'll see how it goes. But all right, guys, feast your eyes on this. Alright guys, so as you can see behind me, I have a 1999 Dodge Dakota Sport. It's got the 5.2 liter Magnum V8 in it, and it's been abused, and it's been sitting around, and I got it really, really pretty cheap. Pretty cheap, I got it pretty cheap, and as you can tell by the state of it, there's probably no other way that I should have bought this thing except for cheap. But also, the interior actually looks really good. There's no cracks on the dash. Uh, the seats are not really stained. There's no splitting. There's no holes in the seats. It just looks like the carpet is pretty dirty, which that seems pretty easy to take care of. Now under the hood, of course, is a different story. Under the hood, it is trash. It looks terrible. If there's anything that I have that's a pet peeve, it's probably it's probably bad looking engine bays. I love making engine bays look, look better than what they're supposed to look like. And I just, I, I'm, I'm a, I, I probably should start a business where I just fix up and clean up and, and, and tuck engine bays because I love that look. I don't know if I'm going that far with this one, but I do think that it does need some attention. When I bought the vehicle, the guy said it ran. He couldn't prove that it ran at his house because the battery was low. But when I brought it here and I put a battery on it and I tried to charge it, Done, 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 freaking run. So that's uh, step number one is to get this thing running. He says it runs, but uh, I ain't had, uh, I don't, there ain't no proof of that right now. Um, uh, we'll go through that with a fine tooth comb another time where I'll go ahead and try to diagnose this thing. But I just wanted to kind of reveal it to you on this video to let you know what's coming in the future and that, you know, there's content. Uh, there's a billion and a half cars on the road everywhere and you know, and I love bringing back stuff like this. It's got the big motor. It's got everything that uh, that 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 I think would make for a great uh, flip. I was thinking of a daily something that's good on gas. I know this isn't the one, but I just kind of couldn't help myself when I got this. When I kind of fell in love with it when I first got it. Uh, the other thing about this vehicle is that the reason why he gave it up so quick and why he gave up on it isn't because it doesn't run. It's because he ended up putting a large chunk of money into replacing the transmission uh, the transmission cost him I think he said around 2100 and as soon as he did that a week later the brake lines uh, decided to bust on him so he kind of just gave up the love affair was over so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just let you know that that's one of the other things I got to do uh, brake lines got to get it running as you can see the tires that that guy was not scared of the gas pedal I tell you that so um, with all that being said 
that's my little flip project, side project, something that I'm going to be getting into uh, during the course of messing with Pedro. But there's one thing that I did decide I wanted to conquer today, and that is this. That's right, guys. Well, the old trailer. Well, it's finally time. Um, it's been like a year since I had this thing. It's just kind of been sitting out here. I went ahead and swept it off. It rained on it a little bit, so you got a little water. But I, I, I decided to go ahead and hook the trailer up to the old truck here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this bad boy around. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start the cleaning off, power washing it, because there's supposed to be some really nice 80 degree days going on here soon. I think it'll be a good time to go ahead and just get this thing painted and uh, see what we can do with it. So, without further ado, what I'm going to have to do is uh, go ahead and pull this around, clean it up, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second when I get that done. So, see you in a bit. guys so the next thing I'm about to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just start power washing this thing so uh yeah here you go So since I'm in a power washing mood, I guess I'm going to go ahead and power wash the Dakota. Why the heck not? Join me. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this thing dry just a little bit so I can see what I'm looking at. And uh, generally, I really do like cleaning cars off after, you know, especially when they're all mucky and nasty and stuff. So it kind of lets me know what I'm dealing with. You know, I know 
how far the paint has gone, if it can come back. I know just a little bit more about the car. And it kind of gives me a little bit of boost to keep kind of moving forward with it. So, yeah, so that's what I'm dealing with now. Gonna let it dry. We're gonna see what we're looking at a little bit later on. Hopefully it's not too dark by the time that happens. And uh, I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, so uh, we're at the end of this little video here. It's, it's gonna be a short one. Ended up power washing this whole thing. Still a little wet here and there. Starting to dry up a little bit. But I noticed that water wanted to pull here, so I have to use the vacuum to vacuum it out. So I'm either gonna throw a drain in there, like drill a drain in there, or hopefully the jack, the new jack that I'm getting ready to put on there, lifts it up high enough where it will go at enough of an angle where the water runs off on the other end and won't pull up anymore. Um, it's a little rough, but I, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I talked to a buddy of mine, Mr. Gunn. He said, don't worry about it. He said, all of this stuff here, he said, uh, don't worry about sanding it. Don't worry about doing any of that stuff. He said, just power wash it. And then he said, come back over it with like a, uh, like a degreaser or something. Rinse that, wash it, rinse it off. And then he said, just go ahead and throw the Rust-Oleum on there. It'll block the rust. It'll be fine. But I know some of these little rougher spots like that. I'll probably go ahead and hit those with a wire brush and go ahead and a little, little bit of rust reformer. I know you can replace these guys right here. So I don't know if I'm going to get another one or if I'm just going to paint it and just use what I got. I'll probably just paint it use what I got for now. And then I'm just going to go around this guy. Just whatever really rough rust spots like that. Uh, those guys are going to uh, get just a little bit of wire brush and a little bit of rust reformer. So, but uh, that's it for that. So let's go see what we got with this Dakota. The wheels, they're not coming out too good. Um, those will probably have to come off and get a really deep scrub or maybe even a repaint. The back wheels look great though. Back wheels look damn near perfect. Um, the paint, the paint is really, really faded. Like after I've washed this thing, the paint is super faded. Um, I didn't even, I missed some spots here. But I didn't really just, I just did a quick rinse off just to get the crud off of it. I don't know if I want to fully paint it. It looks like it can be cut buffed out. And uh, the shine can be brought back. But I don't know if that's worth it over just painting it. And as you can see, there's a big rust hole here. And uh, after going through some of this vehicle, this is the um, anti-spin, which is basically a LSD, um, LSD axle. It does have drum brakes in the back. See them through there. I think you can. But there are drum brakes back here. And uh, I was thinking of doing some sort of swap that would, uh, you know, make it disc brakes. Maybe put a better axle, put a better, uh, do something better back there. But honestly, that may not be in the budget if I'm going to have to paint this thing. And then, of course, I got to do something in the engine bay because, man, that looks bad. And, you know, it just needs a general detail, but it's not bad I mean the interior is good it's not not bad at all uh, this windows broken you can see here and uh, he's got a stick in here to keep it up so uh, that's gonna be a thing I'm gonna have to take that apart and get that fixed cheap little truck but uh, I'm gonna have to order some parts for sure all right so there you go guys that's it for for today um Dodge Dakota that's the new uh, that's the new uh, flip truck slash daily slash I, I don't I don't know it's my it's my car owner virus truck and I also have the a trailer which I'm planning on painting either tomorrow or Friday while the weather is gonna be nice and warm so yeah guys I'm gonna end this here thanks for watching I appreciate it don't forget to like subscribe and comment don't forget my, about my Zazzle store uh, when you guys purchase stuff from there it goes into helping me uh, make some more content for you guys so appreciate that so you guys keep wrenching wrenching out peace